Hey guys, welcome back. It is week six of Follow Jesus, and today Pastor Scott and I just want to help you get ready for today's talk. Yeah. And today the question we're answering is, what is the baptism in the Holy Spirit? So Pastor, tell us about that. Okay, so this is one that is really powerful and exciting. It can also be where people are going, what? God's going to speak through me in a different yeah. language? You know, like this. So part of what I say sometimes is I said, man, look, we believe a lot of things that are really supernatural stuff. It's just some of the things we've all agreed on so much in all of Christianity, you know, that, you know, we believe that Jesus was born of a virgin. What? Yeah. You know, yeah. we believe that Jesus flew back into the air after he was what? Resurrected, Resurrected. from yeah. the dead. You know, we believe he's going to come back someday and we're going to fly to the air and live a new body right, and live with right. him forever. So there's a lot of these things that are really supernatural stuff that we've bought into and believe. When we think about God praying through us 100% his will in prayer, well, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Good idea, right. and I think it's a good idea that it's straight up in the Bible telling us this is true. So here's the thing. If anybody gets nervous on this one, just go like this. All right, let's just make a deal. Let's believe the Bible. Deal? Believe the Bible. Deal. All right. Yeah. So let's look at the Bible. Yeah. And so I'm going to take you through scriptures that you're going to look at, and you can look at it for yourself in the Bible. It's right there. Now, one of the things sometimes people say is, well, I don't know that tongues are for today or speaking in tongues for today. Right. Because they take 1 Corinthians 13 where it says, when that which is perfect comes, these childish things will be put aside. I did speak in tongues, but now I won't speak in tongues. I, I did prophesy, but now I won't prophesy. Right. Some people who have said that they're called cessationists, that means that the gifts have ceased, they're, they say that when the word of God was canonized or when all of the books of the Bible were agreed upon that these are the ones that will be in the Bible, okay, for in the Bible, that that's perfect, now we don't need the gifts. I don't really think that makes as much sense as what that passage is talking about is when we get to heaven. Because when we get to heaven, why do I need to have prayer and tongues anymore when I'm right there face to face with him? You right. know, yeah. Why do I need prophecy when now I can see totally in full, I got a new body with a new mind that understands everything that God has communicated to me. You know, yeah. That makes way more sense than I don't need to have healing going on anymore. Right. We don't need to hear from God prophetically anymore. We don't need the gifts. Uh, any, doesn't make sense. It, right. I think that's totally, and really there's a lot of people who, most people who thought that they don't teach that as much anymore because it really doesn't make sense. Right. Yeah. Now sure. the other thought is that some people say, well, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 12 that not everybody speaks in tongues. Not everybody uh, prophesies. Not everybody does it. Well, what it's talking about there is the public use in a service. Like somebody gives a message of tongues in a service where everybody's being quiet. We see that in 1 Corinthians 14 as well. In that sense, not everybody has that type of gift or is using right. that type of gift. But when it comes to praying in the Spirit on a regular basis of just praying in the Spirit, God praying through us with understanding, uh, according to Acts 2.38, this gift of, of the baptism of the Holy Spirit that, that comes with the tongues you know, to let us know we got it, that's for everybody. He says it's for you, it's for your children, for yeah. those who are far off, and for all those who the Lord God shall call. So if you're saved, it's a gift <clears throat> that is available to you. I think those are probably the most, uh, the biggest questions that For come sure. up. Yeah. I don't hit those as much in the lesson as much as I'm letting you know about that in case those questions come up and you can talk about it. Right, exactly. This stuff is, is so powerful. And, and we know this is something that is going to be really, uh, really good for you guys to be able to talk about and have discussion about. And one thing that may come up in this is the person you're meeting with wants to be baptized in the Holy Spirit, yeah. right? And so we want to set you up for how do I lead someone in the baptism of the Holy Spirit? How do I pray with someone? Yeah. So Pastor, you want to help us on that? Yeah, so first of all, I say it in the session that we have elders up front at the end of every <laughs> Sunday morning service that are down there. Right. Great thing you could do is just say, hey, how about this Sunday? Or if you're meeting that morning, hey, how about today? We go up and I'll go up with you and we'll pray yeah. at that point. Because what's great about that is it's conducive. It's kind of hard if you're in a Starbucks or if you're at White Rhino or right. you're somewhere like, hey, let's pray. You know, Now, I've done that before, but it's kind of a next level uh, right. you know, yeah. of faith of doing it is that you may have to go, hey, we're going to do it. Right now. You know, but that doing it at the service is a pretty good time, I think. It may even be a time that you guys set up to have a prayer time, like at the house or somewhere. Right. Um, 
that can happen. Now, when I'm praying with somebody to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, I read that passage to them in Luke 11 about how you can ask and you'll receive it. It's also important that people understand that you can't just pray and have, you know, God fill me with the Holy Spirit. I right. want to have that prayer language. You know, and then they're just totally quiet or just keep saying Jesus, 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 Jesus. Neither those are some tendencies. So right. what I just say is, hey, let's ask. And then when I say right now, just receive, then uh, how do you receive? So like, let's say this is this is what I, I'm giving to you, okay? And I'm giving, uh, would you take it? Yeah. Would you like it? Okay, yes, you have please. to receive it. You have to take it and receive yeah. it. I can stand here all day long saying this for you, this for you, this for you, this for you, until you take it, right. you're not receiving it. In the same way the Father wants to baptize, Jesus is gonna baptize people in the Holy Spirit. You have to receive it. The receiving comes, and I kind of mentioned it as, you're, 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 you're praying, you, God, I want, I want everything you have for me. God, fill me with the Holy Spirit. Right. Give me this prayer language. In Jesus' name, I believe your word says I receive it when I ask. So I receive it now. So we pray that. And then I'll pray and then I'll say, okay, let's pray now. Then at that first time, if they don't just start praying out and talk. By the way, a little, a little thing you need to know is that when people start praying in tongues, most of the time it's like a baby who starts talking. They don't have a full language and say, hey, dad, can I have keys to the car? I mean, <laughs> come on, babies don't do that. They just say, hey, dad, 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 dad. And we know that he's calling, hey, he said daddy, right. he yeah. said dad. <laughs> you know, excited. mama, mama, you know, hey, you know, they get syllables. In the same way, many times when people receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit and they speak in tongues, they begin with syllables and that as you use it, you develop and it gets fuller as a right. language. Um, the second thing is that God's not going to make you do it. You, you, it's like the most spiritual word I can think of is you got to try. You got to trust that if I'm asking for it, God's going to give me the real thing. And so you say, okay, I'm going to try. Most people get scared. And I think of it as like a speed bump. You get up to that speed bump, but if you don't kind of try, you know, right. bump over it, then you're not going to go over. It's just going to keep rolling you back. If you're like, okay, okay, it's not, it has to have, you got to give it some gas. So that's why the scripture says, they spoke in tongues, Acts 2, 4, as he enabled them. So you've got to like try. So what I'll do is I'll say, let's pray. And then just begin to speak it out. So I'd say, now nah, let's do it. And I'll just start praying in the spirit quietly. And then, uh, the, then many, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. And so they're just kind of quiet or they're going, Jesus, Jesus, or like, I want you, God, right. I want you, God, whatever. So I'll say, okay, pause. Let's just pause a minute. What's going on? I don't know. I don't have it. Okay. But what are you, what are you feeling? I'm just scared. I think I'm going to get, I'm not going to get it right or whatever. Hey, you don't need to be nervous about that. Let's, it's like a little speed bump. You just get right there. I know it's kind of like I even kind of stuff in my head, but I'm nervous to say it. Just say it. Just, just go. It's gonna, you know, the Bible says anybody who speaks in tongues, 1 Corinthians 14, 2, his mind is unfruitful. Uh, he speaks to God, not to me. Your mind, it's right. the first time ever something's coming out of your mouth that didn't get from your head. Yeah. It's coming from you. So you gotta try. So it's gonna sound funny to you. It may be right. It, if it doesn't sound right, you know, because it's it's a yeah. different language. Yeah. So you have to kind of call, it's okay to pause and to coach and to talk to them about it. And then to do it again. If it ends up sometimes that they don't receive in that moment, I'll just go, let's keep seeking. Let's try again next week. Yeah. Just yeah. keep seeking. Sometimes it could, you get in the car. I've had people, friends, leave that, get in the car and they receive it. Get Go home, lay down in their bed and get it. Go get in the shower the next morning and they start praying and they right. start, they kind of even start praying. I've had so many people start praying, I love you, God. I want everything else. Oh, I want everything. I mean, like they'll kind of be mumbling yeah. and they'll yeah. go, I don't know what happened. That's it. Okay. God's praying through you. You release it. Right. Cool. Well, hey guys, as always, we're praying for you this week and we know that this is, this is a huge thing. And so I just want to encourage you before you meet today, take 10 minutes and just pray. Pray for the person you're meeting with. Pray for everything you're going to talk about and just ask God to lead it all. And that's, Absolutely. And yeah. here's the other thing. If you're not baptized in the Holy Spirit and you're watching this going, God, how am I going to teach this? I'm not. Start seeking as well. Yeah. And just be honest about it. Say, hey, this is something I want too. This is something that I need. Uh, I think that's very important. Now, listen, being baptized in the Holy Spirit isn't about going to heaven or hell. Okay? You don't have to pray in tongues to go to heaven. Let's make that clear. Okay? What I always talk about is like it's a free upgrade. 
you know, yeah. and, and that means that like if you have a car that runs but it doesn't have power anything, no power windows, no power brakes, all that, can you get from A to B? Absolutely. Same thing. Your salvation is going to get you to heaven, from here to earth to heaven when you die. Amen. But wouldn't it be cool to get a free upgrade where you got power everything? That's yeah. the Holy Spirit power He wants to give to you. So if you don't have it, you start praying for it. And you can even be honest with them. I don't have this yet, but I want to seek this too. Yeah, sure. Guys, we love you. This week's going to be awesome.